Hey guys, Indigo Priestess here. Hope everybody's doing well, feeling blessed and living their best life. So I thought, you know, let's just make a really awesome video. And I've made videos in the past with return um, ex-lovers. I've made videos like this before. But what I wanted to do was make a video where I can also explain to you guys why these type of spells can be effective. Also, just adding something to this um, type of spell is an entity and giving an entity offerings, saying the entity's in. So it is important when you cast a spell like this to have some form of a relationship with an entity, okay? entity whether it be an angel whether it be a what man calls demons okay it really doesn't matter at this point it's whoever you are comfortable with all right so what you're going to do is you're going to get if you are new to spell casting you're going to need a figuring candle a if it is a male you are trying to bring back you're going to need a male candle if it is a female you're gonna need a female figuring candle all right one more thing if you are used to spell casting you do not need that type of assistance or figuring candles you can just use normal tapered candles and put the energy into the candle of the individual once you have got your figuring candle you're going to engrave the name of the individual into the candle once you have done that you're then going to rub lavender oil i love using lavender oil or citrus oil onto the candle catnip as well onto the candle all right once the oil is on you put your catnip on then what you want to do is okay you want to just focus on the energy of the individual and place that energy into the candle once you have done that you're going to take a picture of the individual just the face part and you're going to stick it onto the candle okay once you have done that you're then going to place the offerings of for the entity you are calling to assist you with the spell at the spell itself you are then going to also place the sigil or the symbol of the entity that you are bringing into the spell you're then going to offer what you desire to offer to the entity um, whether it be fruit wine or your favorite candies or cigars whatever it is it's up to you and what you feel the entity will enjoy you're then going to invoke the entity once you have done that you are then going to focus on the spell you can either use your menstruation blood or your sexual juices and rub it as well onto the candle because you already have a sexual tie to the individual okay if you don't want to use those methods you are more than welcome to also take the clothing items of the individual and place it around the candle because that is their energy if you wore it that is even better um, because now it is your energy and the individual's energy okay and the one of the reasons why i do sometimes a lot of the times actually encourage a return spell is because sometimes when we are not healed ourselves and the individual we are dating is not healed split ups can start or they get influenced split ups can happen or someone throws an evil eye split ups can happen when you see um, spells like this start to become effective then you know something that was not natural was the cause of what broke the two of you up okay because frequency and vibration and negative energy is very real as much as positive energy is as well so you want to be careful all right in general you want to wear specific crystals to for your own protection 
You want to also protect your home, your relationship, because there are things out there that you and I cannot even begin to discuss or fathom. So the best way to do things is to wear your specific crystals to also protect you. And when you give offerings and invoke the entity when you are doing this type of spell, I advise you to also do a banishing ritual afterwards. So it is also important that you are not of a low vibration when you cast the spell, especially because you're bringing in an entity. It is important that you are mentally sane when you do a spell like this. It is important that most of your frequencies and vibrations are at a high level because you do not want to invite anything negative in this type of working. So you also got to be careful. Once you have placed everything down around the candle, you're going to work the spell for a max of three days. On the third day, you're going to take all the offerings and you're going to bury it in green postures okay the wine if you can offer wine and fruit you can bury the fruit or you can give the fruit to someone that is less fortunate but the wine would have to go into the ground just throw the wine out into um, nature because we are one we are part of nature okay so this is just a fantastic way of manipulating frequency and vibration, especially if you feel there was foul play um, done in the relationship that you had with the individual. Then I would say, you know what, give a return X lover spell a chance and see where that goes. So guys, if you need to get hold of me, my information is in the description box um, below this video and I'm more than happy to assist you all. Bye for now. Stay blessed.